What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you some of the latest news surrounding Destiny 2 which includes some groundbreaking new PvP glitch, news on the Xbox One X upgrade for Destiny 2 and much more. But before we go any further people, do you want to win some epic loot? I have exclusive emblem and sparrow codes, gift cards and much more. To win some simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and join my Discord server linked within the video description. Okay so let's start and let's start with the most powerful console ever that's just been released, that being the Xbox One X and there's been speculation for months now on whether or not Destiny 2 and the Xbox One X will outperform any other console, basically allowing it to do what it's capable of. Now because of the ties with PlayStation, many people initially, including myself, thought Bungie were holding back on the Xbox One X due to the limitations of their partner company's console, and obviously you wouldn't want the game looking better and running smoother on the rival company's console, but Bungie spoke out about this uh, near the release of Destiny 2. They said they were max out what a console is capable of and that they were not approached by Sony asking them to hold back on the Xbox. They also said because of the Xbox X wasn't out, which at the time it wasn't, they're concentrating on maxing out what the current consoles are capable of, that being the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 Pro. Well, the Xbox One X is out now, so what's going on? Will we see an improved version for Xbox players? Well, according to some new info yesterday, we will indeed. This info comes from GamingBolt.com. The site can be found linked within the video description. Stating Gaming Bolt right here, Activision and Bungie have been mum about this for the quietest time, but thanks to the Inquisitor, we finally have a conclusive answer about whether or not Destiny 2 will be supporting the Xbox One X. The answer is yes. Yes, Destiny 2 will have Xbox One X support after all. Now the post does go on but it doesn't state what kind of support we will be getting. Now if I had to guess I would say that 4K resolution. Don't be silly in thinking it's going to support 60 frames per second. As much as I'd love to see that, I truly don't see it happening. But 4K will do for me. I don't own a PS4 Pro so I don't get them kind of benefits. But I guess we will have to wait and see. Maybe they'll mention it something in a weekly update later. We'll see. Something else I'd like to cover and that is the recent flourish of people coming back to play Destiny 2. Me being one of them, the Faction Rally event is now in play, but it's the same old, same old. Changes have been put in place for how you can earn these tokens, but not much in my opinion. If I had to say anything, I'd say it won't get much better until Season 2. Now with this Faction Rally event, there have been some crazy new ways of earning many, many tokens faster than ever. People finding exploits, people finding glitches and so forth. There is basically a lost sector within the winding cove on the EDZ which you can seriously exploit and get easy tokens. All you do is run the lost sector, defeat the boss, grab the chest, receive them three tokens, jump up to the door behind the chest, run for about 20 feet, turn back on yourself, head back to the chest and pick up them tokens again. You can do this an infinite amount of times and you can rack up easily over 600 tokens per hour. Now this, in my opinion, Bungie need to take into account and learn from. Now you're wondering how can Bungie learn from this? Hear me out. This exploit, this glitch itself has brought many people back to play. It's a short grind for sure, but it's what we want. It's short but seriously rewarding. How many other things in the game offer this kind of practice? It reminds me of the old Omnigal Strike farming days. We would sit for hours farming trying to get that grasp of Malak. People love that kind of thing, but there is nothing of such in this game. No reason to grind anything. Even things as small as this chest farm, people enjoy doing. And that's seen by the amount of people coming back and doing it. So yes for sure, Bungie won't see this as a positive, as it takes out the point of them changing strikes etc to reward us those tokens, but they can learn from it in a sense of this being the kind of thing most Destiny players want from the game. Not as such running back and forth exploiting a chest, but a grind which is seriously rewarding. That's what we want. Why is a game solely based on loot and grinding for loot? Not very rewarding loot wise at all. That doesn't make sense. But hopefully people, they take this on board. So moving on, and now we have, I believe, is a new game breaking PvP out of map glitch. Probably been around for a while, but it's new to me. Now I won't show you guys how it's done, I will however show you guys the glitch and where you can get to and how you can kind of take advantage of it. This is one of many things that does need fixing for sure, so add that to the list, Bungie. This footage was taken from a pal of mine, Mind Alive Crisis, whose channel can be found linked within the video description. He shows how you can actually get out of the map if you want to use it and exploit it, but be warned people, if you get banned, don't blame anyone but yourself. 
Now, Destiny 2 is relatively a new game. It's been out, what, two months now? Uh, I don't understand how people are comparing it to a year three Destiny 1. Now, I ain't sticking up for Bungie here. The game has many, many problems. I'd even say it probably don't even offer the same kind of grind Destiny 1 did within the first couple of months. I mean, how many exotics did you have in the first couple of months? I know for sure I didn't have everyone in the game, I probably had 5 if that and I grinded the heck out of that game. So yes comparing a Destiny 2 2 months in to a 3 year Destiny 1 game is a bit stupid, but when you compare base games they are still miles apart. But Bungie do have second chances, they have third chances, they have fourth chances with the DLCs they will offer. They have a massive, massive fan base, and I'd say 80% of that fan base will and are willing to come back if the game does change, and it's as simple as that. So hopefully, with this next DLC and with Season 2, we see many, many changes people want and give us back the grind we had within Destiny 1. Destiny 1 was a game for me which I could play and it would take my mind off other things. Destiny 2 is a game I play now and it makes me think about other things because it's so boring to play and it shouldn't be that way. But yes guys, that's just my opinion. I know many, many people are still grinding it day in, day out and fair play to you. But me at the moment, I see no reason in doing that. But guys, we have come to the end of the video. Expect another video later covering the weekly update and whatever I post in between. But thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in